What's going on everybody? Hopefully you guys can see me. We're out here on the river again. I try to do a little bit of boat fishing tonight. It is a little windier than what I would like it to be. <laughs> that was a bug. A little windier than what I would like it to be, but we're gonna try to make it work best we can. I think if we can get, obviously you guys can't see it because it's dark out. There's a big mountain over on the side. I think if we can get over near there, we might be able to stay out of trouble. We'll have to wait and see. So I'm gonna get the GoPro all set up. We're gonna go do some boat fishing. All right guys, hopefully you can hear me over the wind. We are working our way in to uh, the money zone. Some of the best bow fishing I've ever experienced was in here. The problem is the wind is way worse than what I was expecting. They're calling for like gusts up to six and I think think that it's steady at six. It might make it pretty difficult tonight. All right, boys. Say good night to the kid. I'm all yours for the rest of the night. Let's go get some carp. I already seen one, so good start already. This, the, see where I'm at right now is regulated by a dam downstream, and they must have dumped some water because it is skinny in here. Oh man! I'm sure you guys just saw that. Freaking gimme shot. Golly. All right, guys, I think we're finally gonna get out of this damn wind. I know you guys can't see it, but there's a giant hillside here, and uh, the, we're heading straight for the wind right now. So once we get to the hillside, we should have a good barrier there where we're not gonna have any wind. We're just gonna have to keep an eye out for catfish. But right now we're in like five feet of water. So I don't know, I've never been over this way I have no idea what to expect I'm just trying to beat this wind because you guys ever been bow fishing you know you cannot bow fish in the damn wind oh my god is it terrible think there's gonna be fish up here Remy yeah all right you're such a good boy hey everybody today is Remy's fifth birthday I want you to comment down below and say happy birthday to Rem He's a good little puppy. Yes, he is. Remy, get. No, I know your moves. You're not getting. You're not jumping out of the boat. Remy has a tendency to uh, abandon ship without warning. There's a catfish. There we go. Big catfish, guys. Remy! Yeah. Ah. Just came off. Woo. That was good. That tip, my tip came undone. Oh my god. That would suck to have lost that. Alright, let's go get a look at him real quick. Big, big cat. Real nice. It's awesome. I seen that guy, uh, Cramp. Yeah, there's no fish in there, buddy. He's so excited. Yeah, I seen that guy, uh, out in front quite a ways. And I just, I turned that trolling motor up. And, uh, I wasn't messing around. I, I, it's about time we freaking got something, guys. Whew. Well. Maybe we can do a little, a little catching and cooking, huh? What do you guys think? Got him. There we go, there we go, come on. Whoa. Another little channel, just barely got him. You gotta be really careful getting those guys off the hooks. And now Remy's gonna go nuts. I I wish I had a theory for you guys why we're only seeing catfish tonight, but uh, 
I have nothing for you. I have absolutely no explanation whatsoever as to why there's so little carp here. Like we were just here two weeks ago and it was unbelievable with carp. And now it's like, I think I've seen like three or four, but tons of catfish. The only thing that changed was the water temperature. The water temperature got a little bit cooler. I don't understand it. Not that I'm complaining, I love shooting catfish because they're super yummy. just gonna oh my god that one's still breathing all right I'm just real quickly gonna burn through these flay them up hopefully not get too terribly sick from this they kind of smell and uh, later on this afternoon we will do our kitchen cook Most of the catfish cut up here. I desperately need to invest in a fillet knife. You guys are gonna roast me in the comments. So if you do know a good fillet knife, please let me know. I would really appreciate it. Um, I'm a big fan of these interchangeable blades, and uh, I know this company have one does make these. I just I don't know if a five inch fillet knife is gonna be big enough. All right. I'm gonna go inside, rinse these really good, and then we're gonna run to the store, and we'll be frying these up for lunch today. I'm gonna try to be a little quiet. All right, so I ran to the store, I got some canola oil, I got, where did I put the Franks? Got some Franks. And I already know we have flour. And I got some flour. And we're gonna fry up this catfish. I've never cooked catfish before. I'm extremely excited to try it out. I normally end up giving it away, but I'm gonna be a little bit selfish today and keep it for myself. So I think what we're gonna do is dunk it in Frank's, dunk it in flour, and then dunk it in Frank's again. And maybe do a double dunk of flour. Really get that that crispies on there real good. So I'm gonna take some franks. I don't have a lot of fish, so I'm not gonna have to use too much. There's our franks. I'm gonna take the fish. Put the fish in with the franks. Seal that bad boy up real good. Give them a shake in their bag for the flour. Take the fish out of the franks into the flour. It's a good thing I don't have any cuts on my fingers. My hands are covered. I'm gonna rinse them off real quick. Got the fish with the franks and the flour. So now all we have to do is let that oil heat up and get a plate ready. If it if it sounds like I'm super stuffy, I am. I don't know why. So I apologize for that. I sound like crap. I feel fine, but those are all stuffed up. Just starting to get the oil good and hot. We're gonna test it out real quick. Just a little piece of flour. 
Yep. It's ready. There it is. It didn't get as crispy as what I thought it would. Um, maybe that had to do with me like double dunking it and it not being like dry flour on the outside. It was it was pretty moist, but I'm gonna give her a taste. Still very hot. It's not bad. I would have, I would prefer it to be like, I'd prefer it to be crunchy, um, almost like a, a chicken tender, but other than that, it's not bad, like it's not unedible. Yeah, it's not terrible. Good lunch though. So, if you guys haven't already, be sure to leave a like down below. Helps the video reach more people. And be sure, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really mean a lot to me. It lets me know that you guys are enjoying the kind of content that I'm making. So, thank you for watching. See you guys later.